and you spoke with some customers and JEA today. That's correct, and the number of JEA customers who are set to get their power cut off is counted on a daily basis. Now, just last week, that count amounted to more than 39,000 customers. JEA tells me today 120 customers were scheduled to get their power disconnected because they have not paid their JEA bill since August. For some reason, last month I had a $99 bill, and then this month it just jumped to $250. But the decision to cut power today was pushed to tomorrow because the electric company was overwhelmed with more than 27,000 phone calls. What was your experience when you tried to call into JEA today? It went straight to the voicemail. Uh, because at first I thought I had called earlier. I said, well, maybe I'm calling too early. But then when I did get into it, they just gave you a message telling you that they're sorry for the inconvenience, you know, the uh, piling up the calls. JEA says it sympathizes with its customers, but because it's a non-for-profit utility company, it has to recover lost cost. JEA says it will work with you, adding that it's already given customers a six-week grace period to get their finances together. As soon as a customer pays, services will be restored. I'm really grateful for the, for the momentum that they gave us, JEA, giving us uh, the time to catch up. I think that they can give them another extension for it, you know, because I know, I know some people that really can't afford it. You know, that's why they, they, they're so late on their bill. In the meantime, if you need help paying your JEA bill, there's an interest-free plan where you can pay your bills over a nine-month period of debt. There's also extensions. The disconnection of your utilities will depend on your payment history, but it will also depend on whether or not you've signed up for one of JEA's payment plans. For more information on their payment plans, you can visit actionnewsjax.com. For local coverage you can count on in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Princess John A. Steverson, Action News Jax.